649 for diesel. Yes, you did, Joe. You did that. 1335 to fill up a DR650 in California. How the hell are you, handsome dual sport devils? It's been a while. How's the wife? How's the kids? How's the job? The dog? The platypus? The Gila monster? The Komodo dragon? <laughs> oh, it's a gorgeous day. Heading up to do some mountainous moto camping tonight. I was going to head to the desert, but I figured, ah, I'll hit somewhere with a little more shade. Yeah, it's a good move there, guy. Jesus. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, somewhere with a little more shade. And it's still going to be about 85 up in the mountains at about 6,000 6, feet, so that should be very pleasant. Yeah, so I got the camera mounted on the chest today, so you're not going to see the head movements of what I'm looking at. Now, it's nice, you know, in my case, because I hate when the camera catches in the wind. It's just extra weight to the old noggin. So, we'll see how the chest mount works. I farted around with the angles yesterday, and this seems like a, a nice happy medium here. You know, something else that I noticed the other day while I was uh, doing an oil change is it on the Madstad here? I didn't have it fully extended. There was another good shit five inches of lift on it, so now it's at its maximum uh, maximum extension, and it's like full on, you know, Harley style now. Pretty bitching, man. A little action on Bundy Canyon right now, Ted Bundy Canyon. My buddy John sent me a video the other night. I believe the channel's skids and stuff, skids and shit, skids and stuff, skids and things, I don't know, something like that, but uh, this dude on a DR650, uh, I want to say it's Australia, he's in Australia, but holy balls, man, that guy is just ripping that thing, so sick to see, sending it off jumps, just, just hammering on it around the turns, it's really refreshing to see someone you know, it has the, the cojones, the balls to get on the bush pig like that and just shred it. Super cool, man. So check that out. I think it's skids and stuff. I'll put a link. But yeah, I was badass watching that. Ah, feels good to finally be on this road. I've been wanting to cruise down this for quite some time now. Aqueduct running right through it. Oh man, this is badass. Yeah, this is fucking sweet. This is a back road, you know. I wish everything was like this to get from point A to point B. You didn't have to deal with any surface streets, stoplight, stop sign bullshit, but maybe that's a reason to move, right? in Tennessee or North Carolina or something just have back roads like this but you know how is the riding out in Tennessee not how is it I'm sure it's tremendous but how much of it is there can you just go out and you know cruise on on the land I'm sure it's not as plentiful as out here it's a trade off like anything else Oh, I needed this. This is... You guys know. You know. You know. I'm at 8,091, so I've put over 3,000 miles on this bike already. 
which is an easy easy task man when you have the power and You know, just the form factor of this bike, it chews through miles. Wow, so pretty back here. I hope the camera is shooting over the windshield. I, mean, I can always lower the windshield, but that's ah, all a test. Wow, that is cool looking. I was not expecting this. And believe me, I'm not complaining. What do you say there, Puss? Check out all those streamers. Let me get a head-on shot. Guessing that's for the blades. Keep the blades from eating the... The new plant, newly planted, freshly planted stuff. Wow, that's cool. Oh man, you can smell the citrus bloom. Ah, oh, the smell! You guys could smell this. Oh my God, it's heavenly. Down? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, a boy hide now. Tire is just fantastic. It's plenty, plenty of meat on it still. Thing hooks up the tits.
almost wiped out there. Oh boy. Mmm, it's got a whiff of maple. Exactly like maple syrup. corner nobody knows there was a Jeep somewhere. I get there. <laughs> I have a specific spot in mind. Send it. miles on this trail so far it's pretty good Oh, it's good here. 